We'll get to Portugal. I just want to celebrate Robin Gosens a little bit yeah. more. because It's a great it, story. It's a great story. He was born in this place called Emmerich um, something or other, which is right <laughs> on the border with, uh, with, with, with Holland. Yeah, in he's fact, more Dutch, really, than German. It is, because it, it's, Even I, don't his know, name. I don't know how they drew up the, oh, his name completely. Yeah. Well, he is, he is half Dutch, in yeah. fact. But even like how they drew the map, if you, if you go on Google Maps, I, I actually did this. There's like the, the, the river is like the border. And then all of a sudden, like on the other side of the river, there's like this German town, which doesn't really make any sense on like the Dutch <laughs> side of the border. Um, but he, he had a trial at Borussia Dortmund. He was turned down. He played for like kind of no name clubs locally, ended up at Vitesse Arnhem's youth academy, never actually played for them. Played for like Dordrecht in the second division, yeah. goes to Heracles and Amala, which is like a no-name club, no-name situation. And then moves to Atalanta. And the last two years, you know, 19 league goals in, in Serie A as a wing back. It's almost like all of a sudden, he's 24 years old. So it's not like he's, he's a kid. He is one of those classic players who can do great things where the system didn't work. The system yes. didn't spot his quality. The system saw nothing there. And... And I, th I think that's a good story. I think most Germany fans story. didn't even know the guy was German until completely. until Yogi Löw called him up. Yeah, completely. In fairness, his Dutch is probably better than his German, even considering that he he, he played pretty much all his youth career and and even first team career in in Eredivisie or second division or whatever. I think he's great, and I, you know I, th I think. I think there's a limit to his game in the sense that he still has so much to learn, especially on the international level. At international level, and and it, well, all this is new. All the that Champions, Champions League experience no, 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 with no, no, Atalanta but, not good enough for you. But even that is new. It's not like if he's been playing ten years of Champions <laughs> no, League, you know, won a rich finals, etc. So all of this is new. But what's interesting, and I think you can make a lot, a, a lot of parallels with other players, is that every time there's a there's a step up, there's a new level up. He goes, his game rises. And he's good enough. And then again, and then again, and then again. Yeah. And as, as, as we saw against Portugal, he was fantastic. He's obviously much better going forward than defensively. And, and that's one of the limits, as we saw in the game against France. But if you play on his qualities, it's fantastic. Well, what's, what's interesting about it, just on that point, is you know, the, the joke in Italy was that you know, he, Atalanta were, had put like a 40 million tag on him. And then after this game, you know, it's going to be 60, 70, 80 million. I was actually wondering about this because, like you said, he is a wing back. He's not a full back who plays further up, like maybe Rafael Guerrero mm. could. He's never he's never performed well in a back four. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure that he can be a traditional winger either because, you know, he likes to run from deeper and, and whatever. So in some ways that limits what clubs he can go to, right? Because... I mean, what what club that could afford to pay 60, 70, 80 million for him plays with a wing back? Yeah. Chelsea, but then Chelsea already have three wing backs. That we yeah. know, and and they just spent 50 on one last summer. Yeah, right? exactly. Inter, um, who don't have the money. Inter, yeah, Inter. Barcelona, as we saw back three a bit yeah. last season. Yeah, ain't going to be them. They have no. Jordi Alba anyway. City don't seem to care about labels, so that could be something, although yeah. I'm not sure he's really that profile of player. No. Um, it's, it's an interesting one. Yeah, really he may well end up where he is. Yeah, and score double figures in gold next season as well. Why I'd not? Be happy. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis. Be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.